Hi everyone, Matt here from Exploring Alternatives. If you're thinking of setting up an off-grid solar power system, but you're not sure exactly how much power you need, how many watts, how many solar panels, what kind of batteries, what kind of inverter, uh, this can all be very confusing at first. So keep watching and I'm gonna explain everything in this video. So the first and most important thing is to figure out what you want to use your solar system for. So what appliances and electronics are you going to be using? For example, are you going to be using a small fridge, maybe with a few LED lights running seven days a week, all day? Or maybe you want a solar system just to run a few lights when the sun goes down uh, for a few hours at night. So this makes a big difference in how you're going to calculate everything. So I'm going to use the solar system setup that we put together in our camper van as an example to help you understand everything. So first of all, we determined that with our solar power system, we wanted to be able to power two laptops, one small USB fan like this. We also wanted to be able to charge camera batteries every once in a while. We also wanted to be able to charge our iPod touch and some AA batteries. And we wanted to make sure that we could power all these electronics uh, for about eight hours a day, seven days a week. So the first thing we needed to do was to figure out what was the energy consumption of each item. Every electronic device, every appliance, every item has a um, power consumption rating. It's often on the power adapter itself. Sometimes it can also be directly on the item. There's a little sticker in the back and this can be found on every single item that you look at. What is most important is that you want to find the output wattage of every item. So in this case, it clearly says output 60 watts. And if you look at this fan, it also says uh, clearly 2.5 watts. But for some items like this camera battery charger, for example, it doesn't actually give me the output wattage of the item, unfortunately. It's only giving me the uh, output volts and milliamps. So there's an easy conversion for this. All you have to do is do volts times amps and you get the wattage. In this case, as you can see, it says milliamps. Often it'll say amps, but in this case it's milliamps. A thousand milliamps gives you one amp. So in this case, 500 milliamps means that it's point five amps. So you're going to do 8.4 times 0.5 and you're going to get a total of 4.2. That means that this item takes 4.2 watts. So we figured out that our first laptop would take uh, 60 watts. Our second laptop would take 45 watts. Our camera battery charger would take 4.2 watts. Charging our iPod would take about four watts and our little fan would take 2.5 watts. So that would give us a total of 115.7. So we, we rounded it out to 120 just to be safe. Then we just had to figure out for how long we wanted to use all of this. So in our case, we wanted to use everything for about eight hours a day, seven days a week. We probably wouldn't actually use all of this eight hours a day, uh, seven days a week, but that gives us a little bit of leeway in case we want to use other things like an electric shaver or anything like that. Once you have all those numbers figured out, all you have to do is input them into a solar power calculator that you can easily find online. And to make it easier for you, I put a link to a very good calculator in the description of this video. First, we're going to go to this website right here, Renergy.com. And this is really the best cal calculator I've found yet online. So we're going to go to the calculator section right here and click calculator. It's going to bring us to this page with a few different options. We're going to select solar sizing calculator and click right here. You'll see at the top there's a calculator for on-grid systems. We're going to ignore that and go to the off-grid section down here. Make that a bit bigger. So first we're going to input what is the total wattage uh, that we're uh, thinking of using. So in our case, like we mentioned earlier, it was uh, 120. So I'm going to input that in right here, 120. 
then for how long are we planning on using these devices? In our case, it's approximately eight hours a day. So I'm going to put eight in this box right here. Now the charge controller. There's uh, PWM and MPPT. Uh, they have different uh, efficiency numbers. So in our case, we have an MPPT charge controller. So I'm going to input 92% right here. Then you have to figure out approximately how much sun you get, how many hours of sunlight you get in your area per day. Where we live, we get about five hours a day of sunlight. So I just input five in this box right here. And once I have all these numbers inputted, I just press calculate right here and I get my totals. So you can see minimum system size. So how many watts of solar panels do I need? Um, they recommend uh, about 208.7, uh, recommended battery size if it's 12 volt, 160 amp hours, and recommended battery size if, it's tw if they're 24 volts, um, 80 amp hours. So as you can see, it's not very complicated once you figure out the output wattage of every item and for how long you want to use them for. In our case, we actually didn't do exactly what the calculator was telling us to do. We had some restrictions uh, in terms of budget and available space in our camper van. So we altered things a little bit. We actually got 300 watts of solar panels and only 150 uh, amp hour battery. But for our needs, the system is working really, really well. So I think it was okay in our case to vary the results a little bit. One last thing to keep in mind for your solar power system is the inverter. And in the case of the inverter, bigger is not actually better. Usually smaller is better. So again, I'll use our system as an example. We figured out that we would use about 120 watts at a time. So with the, when you're trying to pick an inverter, you have to figure out what is the maximum amount of wattage that you're gonna be using at the same time. So if you have a 500 watt inverter, and you're thinking of using a thousand watts all at the same time while your inverter, the fuse in it is going to blow and it's not going to work. You're going to need a 1500 watt inverter or anything above a thousand. In our case, we knew we were only going to need 120 watts. So we picked a pretty small inverter. Our inverter is 500 watts. Uh, that gives us some room to add some more electronics on there and we were comfortable with that but we probably could have went down to even 300 watts. This is more efficient because your inverter actually takes power. It's a machine that's running off your solar system also. So the bigger it is the more power it takes and if you don't need that amount of power you're actually wasting energy. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps you uh, calculate how much you need for your solar system and I hope it clarifies things. You can also click the link right there in the corner if you want to check out our other video uh, about our solar power system in our camper van. It shows you how we set up everything and all the different components. Thanks for watching and good luck setting up your systems.